What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about the lag and server issues, man. I'm gonna show you what I've been dealing with. Roll the tape. No! I mean, I've no words, man. Honestly, some of the stuff that I was seeing on the pitch over the last couple of games that we've played, crazy. Even for us or against us, just crazy. Now, Konami were aware of this. They actually tweeted out or they actually put up an info detail statement where they said, look, on iOS and Android only here, users are experiencing delay. Also, they had this measures against exploits. I'm going to do a video on cheating, man, because a lot of people are asking me about it. A lot of people are saying, how can I spot somebody actively cheating versus bad connection or server issues or input delay or lag? There's two very separate things, input delay and lag, network lag. You know what I mean? There's two very separate things. But if you see here, right, with this statement that they released, they actually talk about this statement as just for iOS and Android, okay? And it says a fix for the following issue was implemented during the update or the today's maintenance, okay? There was an emergency maintenance. They never do maintenance on a Friday and they did do emergency maintenance on this. And it said that as a token of apology for the inconvenience, it says for iOS and Android, we're going to be getting a skill trainer. However, everyone got skill trainers, console, everybody. So it, it, it's, it's just a strange one, man, because obviously, listen, I've been playing the game for a long time. I can take a loss, man. You know what I mean? Winning and losing is not the be all or the end all for what I'm trying to do on my channel, okay? But some of the stuff happening, even when we were winning games, was infuriating. Skill training program, apology from admin. I'm on PS5, obviously. I mean, I just don't know. We're going to show you a couple of clips, right? But that's kind of what confused me and that's kind of what set this off to do this video. Because honestly, boys, I have suffered with multiple issues, obviously. Listen eFootball when it launched from beta all the way to eFootball 2025 that we have now has, has, has suffered from issue. Every video game is going to suffer with issues. There's, that's not a problem. Once they're fixed and once Konami have actually rectified it, and obviously they've said like, look, we're glad to report that the issues that our users were facing with the online services have been resolved. And you can see there that up there, the maintenance, even though it was meant to be for iOS and Android originally, it actually has in the updated statement that all users, consoles, Steam, everything, PC, everything, we're getting, for all devices, we've got the skill trainer and the compensation. And also, it says they're all devices as well. And as I said, I'm not expecting the full package or for a game not to have any issues in it. But some of the stuff that was happening, man, just went beyond the logic of the game. From somebody that has played thousands of hours of the game, researched the game, you know, knows a little bit about the game and how it should handle. And it's not just been that as well. When we were streaming the other day, four or five hundred people in watching the stream... And there was about 60-70% of people that were actually saying, yeah, I'm suffering with the same issues. Like, look at this touch from Messi, man. Messi's 105 overall. I'm not even holding sprint. And you saw that there a second, you know, say, but you are holding sprint with Ambrosini. I will show you three or four instances of this happened. Now, whether my controller is completely bugged or not, I did switch controller and it did happen with another controller as well. So maybe all my controllers are broken. I don't know. But you can see here that we actually sprint into the ball here with Ambrosini and it perfectly works. It seemed to be that the logic of the sprint, again, there's another one. I'm not holding sprint there. You can actually see when I slow down and screenshot this, you can see that I'm in a running stride here, and then I'm in a walking stride. I've let go of R2. So the game registers that I've let go of R2, but when I touch the ball, it's in a sprint. I don't know, man. Honestly, I felt like I was going crazy. Honestly. And it hasn't stopped us from winning games. I have a video coming on the new meta, right? A lot of people are asking me about the new meta. You know, how am I winning games with all these issues? I'm still able to grind out wins and scoring and creating goals and scoring goals is not an issue. Yes, we're going to lose the odd game here and there, but we have won a lot of games. I think we've won nine and lost one since we changed our formation and changed our tactics and changed our setup and have slightly adapted to the lack of input with the controller at the moment, right? But I haven't lost games. I've won games that I shouldn't have won. Like you saw that one at the start in the intro where we got a goal in the last second. I've won games where I've beaten high rank players. We beat a guy that was top 200 in the world. I'm not struggling to win games, man, but it just feels kind of, 
Yeah, I mean, it just feels like it's kind of very, very, like, sticky at the moment, very laggy at the moment. Like, I have no issue con conceding a goal like this, right? I'm on a classic counter-attack. He catches me on the break. Beckenbauer to Davids. It's a simple pass in here. I try to manually defend. We get a bit unfortunate, a bad look, and it's a nice finish. No issue whatsoever. But I do have an issue with conceding a goal like this. Cannavaro. Look at Cannavaro here, man. He is literally ball watching. No anticipation. No animation clicks in. And this is Cannavaro who's got 100 defensive awareness, right? 100 defensive awareness, every player skill that you could want for a defender. And I mean, people will say like, oh, you should have positioned him better. You should have positioned him there. You should have positioned him that. It just felt sluggish, man. That's all I would, I would say, right? And again, you will just see time and time again, right? Shoulder charge in the back, still going unpunished. I know this is not an input delay issue. This is an actual gameplay mechanic issue. They have to fix that, man. It's a huge bugbear of mine. It triggers me massively. I do really, I, I really hate it. Again, you will see here, just a simple goal, right? But look at the movement of Saliba, man. When I lose control of him, the AI continues to press forward when I take control off him. Just weird stuff, man, and weird stuff happening like this here, such as this crazy goal we saw in the interception, or the intro. Again, Cannavaro goes up, the ball actually disappears through his head, bounces back down, and then Costa puts it into the back of the net. I'm not saying that these things happening are impossible or that they never happened before in you know previous vi versions of the game or anything like that i'm just saying it seems to be like a perfect storm where when i was streaming the first day and this stuff was happening to me i thought i was going crazy i was like why is the game not playing the way i thought it would usually play for the last six months to a year and then they did the maintenance then they said the maintenance for i was for just ios and android then they gave compensation for console so yeah i mean i'm trying to talk about all the issues we talk about good the bad, everything. Yes, we do card reviews. Yes, we open packs. Yes, we do everything like that because we're a streamer. We're a content creator. We get donations to spin packs, okay? But I also I like to talk about the issues with the game. But let me know your thoughts, man. Let me know your thoughts. I will be back very, very soon. Until then.